The conditions in Bang Kwan prison are horrific. The guards were extremely corrupt. It was easier to score heroin on credit than it was to actually buy food. I was offered heroin and I accepted it. That was a stupid thing to do, but it numbed the pain hugely. It helped you pass the days, the weeks, the months. But heroin is such a powerful, addictive, evil drug. After snorting it for uh, a while, it's just the effect, it's not enough. So the next process was to shoot it up. Sharing meals was a commonplace occurrence. HIV was rife. <laughs> it's crazy, yeah, it's playing Russian roulette. I might as well have had a gun and spun the barrel and, you know, pointed it at my head. Life sentence, I'm not getting out, so it's like, who cares, I don't. In a way, I guess it was a weird sense of justice. I was originally smuggling heroin and now I'd become a heroin addict, so the tables had completely turned. I used heroin for two years. Eventually, uh, a friend convinced me to get a HIV test. The test was positive. I was devastated. But uh, I knew I'd been taking huge risks and I was paying for my own stupidity. It was a severe slap in the face, wake up call. I didn't want to end up like this. A uh, prison junkie and dying in the prison. Well, my mum decided to visit. I didn't really want her to come, but she was determined. It's great to see her walking in. She burst into tears, but I could still see she was happy to see me. It felt good to hug her, but I couldn't dream of picking a worse situation for her to see me in. I'm sorry. She was wonderful. She just said, keep positive, keep thinking that one day you're going to get out. You've got to believe that. You're not going to be here forever. Don't give up. Don't despair. OK. I'm glad you came. Yeah. It was something to hold on to. It made me a stronger, better person. I thought, I'm not going to let the prison beat me. I'm not going to let this disease beat me. I gave up heroin. I decided to change my whole attitude and hopefully one day get out. My health started to deteriorate, which was just a matter of time. My mum was tireless in her campaigning. She was in constant contact with officials in Australia to get them to support my application for a royal pardon. He needs medical help urgently. Her it? mission was to get me out and to get me out alive. I think it's the best day in my life, for sure. I was almost at death's door, but I knew I got this far. It's, I'm gonna get home. Now, I'm indebted to my mum, to her perseverance, to her courage. It's just a mother's love for her son. That's what got me out. <laughs> <laughs>